Maybe I was thinking maybe we should do something special. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really, Martin? Yeah, that's right, girl. <laughs> we ain't gonna be sitting around here on this couch watching no TV all day. <laughs> 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 I was figuring we go in the bedroom watching little TV. Yeah. <laughs> Good day, everybody on YouTube. Back with another sneaker video. Uh, I know this video is late, as I previously stated in my last video. Um, I did get busy, but I still wanted to put this video out there, uh, seeing that there's not a lot of reviews of this pack on YouTube. Uh, but without further ado, let's get in with the review. Today, I'll be bringing you guys a look at the Atmos uh, Animal Pack. It was a collaborative effort between Atmos Japan and Nike. Uh, these released back in 2013. Um, these were a Japanese release only. They only released at their um, sports lab uh, store. Um, these were, I, guess, I think these were slated to release worldwide, but they never did. Um, so sadly, there's not a lot of men's, uh, large men's size in the men's pair. Um, the Tiger Camel pair is a men's only, and the, um, the Desert Camel pair is a women's only. Uh, so they only release the women's sizes for the, this pair. You can get up to like, ooh, I wanna say a 10, 10 and a half in these, I wanna say. Um, but I'm not really too sure. I just really look for my wife's size. This is my wife's pair. Um, I bought these for our first year anniversary. So these do mean something uh, to me. But um, getting into my pair, uh, I did switch out the laces with the uh, alternate white pair. Uh, I think it pops a little bit more. It goes with the white midsole. But um, as you guys can see, uh, on the mud guard and some other hits of the shoe, there's the tiger stripes. Um, where it's black between the tiger stripes is like a rough suede. Um, the quality of this shoe is really stiff. Um, I don't really like it. Um, the leather is uh, like it mimics a reptile skin, but it's just it's a really stiff shoe. Um, I had to get a 10 and a half. Uh, 10 and a half were, for some reason, more reasonable. But if you go up a half size to an 11, um, they go to for the thousands. I don't know why. Um, I offered these in a trade for an 11. I need an 11 in these. So if you have an 11 and they're not too worn, let me know. Um, I don't really wear these that much anymore because these actually really do hurt my feet if I wear it for a long time. And I don't really care for the this the toe box. The toe box, it kind of just like bubbles off, like that new Air Max. Uh, I do plan on iron ironing the toe box of these. Um, if you guys want a video of that, uh, let me know. Uh, we can go through the experience together. Um, but yeah, uh, but that's pretty much my pair. The, Here's the extra laces, the extra black laces. These came in um, the shoe. It makes it look extremely plain. And they both did come with a Japanese tag. A Japanese like hang tag, it's all in Japanese. So if you're on, in the market for both of them, uh, just note that, that they did come with a Japanese uh, tag. But getting into my wife's pair, she also has the alternate laces, which is like a uh, burgundy, which really sets the shoe off. I actually like these a lot, um, but the 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 downside to this shoe is, to me, I really don't like the quality. Uh, they use more of like a synthetic leather. Leather, it doesn't feel like it feels kind of like plastic, to be honest. The toe box, where it's that desert camo. And then the leopard print also feels like plastic. Just the whole shoe feels like plastic. Um, it's still clean. I like that the Nike uh, check 
is the same uh, reptile skin as uh, the men's pair. So uh, I think that's a nice hit. But uh, yeah, uh, this is my wife, one of my wife's favorite uh, Air Maxes. Um, so, and I did get these as an anniversary present uh, for the both of us. So I thought it, I thought it would be nice. Uh, we do we, whenever we wear uh, our pairs, we wear them together. So call it corny, as my wife says, but it is what it is. But these are the laces that came with her pair. This is the lace that came in the shoe. Um, I like the burgundy a lot more. And here's her Japanese hand tag too. So, just keep in mind if you are in the market, these did come with a hang tag. They both did come in a uh, brown Nike sportswear box. I absolutely hate these boxes. I'm glad that they moved away. Um, from this box, this box is terrible for stacking. But um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, without now, I'm starting to ramble. But uh, what did you guys think of Air Max Day? Uh, what did you guys think of the releases? Um, to me, the HTM series is kind of kind of weak. Um, just nothing really caught my eye. Um, but I am extremely happy that they are bringing back that uh, Elephant Atmos Air Max 1s. Uh, as I previously, uh, previously said in my uh, coffee talk, that's my favorite Air Max. So, um, also for everybody that collects like old school Air Maxes, uh, I was thinking of this question, um, which company, which uh, boutique did it better? Uh, out of all collabs, so, so taking in the Pada, if you guys know what the Pada uh, col uh, Air Max 1 collection is, um, and putting it against Atmos Air Max 1 collection. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a that's a really close tie to me, even though Pada did make the Amsterdam, the Amsterdam uh, Air Max 1s, which were a hyper strike, which go for like 2000 but I don't know, uh, look-wise, without va taking out the value, look-wise, I would have to go with Atmos. I might have to go with Atmos. But uh, now I'm rambling. Um, stay tuned for the on-foot. All right, guys. Peace.